Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel, if you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia and today I'm going to be talking about the long term benefits of clonazepam. And yeah, you heard me right, long term benefit. Clonazepam is a drug that I have been taking for three years and it still works to this day. And I'm not on the highest dose. A benzodiazepine being used for over a long period of time. What's going on there? Let's go get into this because this is a controversial. There are so many people out there that say you can't take. There are people who say if you take it for a long period of time, you're an addict. There are people who say, if you say you it for a certain amount of time, you're going to become addicted to it. There are some people that swear they're the worst thing ever invented. And there are some people like me, who can see the benefit of using the... and following a prescribed limit of them. As long as you stick to your prescription, you shouldn't become addicted to it. If you go off from your prescription and start taking, say, 20, 20 diazepam tablets in a day, a 2 milligram, say you start taking that, yeah, you're going to become addicted to it. And it's really dangerous, so don't do that. Whereas if you stick to your prescribed limit, which for me is three one milligram tablets and one two milligram tablet in a day, you're gonna be fine. There's so much stigma around benzodiazepine and the amount of messages I get when people say I've been prescribed this but I'm too afraid to take it. It's it's unbelievable. And when I made a video on TikTok, the response was the same. If you stick to what you were prescribed, you're less likely to become addicted to, to them. Yes, they are addictive medications, and if misused, very dangerous medications. But if you're careful, and if you're responsible, you're going to be fine. And if a dose isn't working for you, be honest about it, and they might take you off it and try something else. For some people, I know taking pregab pregabalin is better than taking, say, lorazepam, but uh, they're both different medications. There's loads of different medications that are prescribed for anxiety, not just benzos. So just be honest with your treatment team as well. And if you think you're getting addicted to them, say that you think you become independent on them. Taking benzos shouldn't be something that you people are afraid to do. They wouldn't be prescribed if they were dangerous. If there was any serious danger, with taking what you're prescribed, it wouldn't be legal. I think people forget that if you are an addictive person and have an addictive personality, then yes, you're likely to become dependent upon them. But I'm also going to put this out there too. If it helps, even if you're dependent, if it still helps them symptoms, is it worth it? I would argue yes, it's worth it. I haven't had an anxiety attack in a long time and I can guarantee that's because of the benzos that I take. For those wondering what I do take, I take one milligram in the morning, one milligram in the afternoon, one milligram in the evening and two milligrams at night and that's clonazepam. I've also been on lorazepam and diazepam previously. <laughs> they didn't work for me. I know people that have been on these medications for 40, 50 years. Like they're old medications that work. Anything that has anything that has a chance of working or helping is surely worth a try. That's my argument. Let me know yours in the comments down below. As I'm very interested in just on your take on this subject. Thank you to my Patreons, thank you to those who support me on Twitter and Instagram and TikTok. If you're not following me already, you really should be. Links are all in the description down below. I've got hiccups. It's a good place to end the video.